Hi guys and welcome to our home. This is a 2016 Primetime Tracer Air. It's a 238 Air. Uh, I'm going to start off in the bedroom and then uh, we'll show you guys around. Let's go. So guys, we've uh, made it here to the bedroom. It wasn't a very far walk. Uh, we're only sitting 27 feet at 5,200 pounds with a 600 pound tongue weight. Don't quote me on that, but I think that's what it is. Uh, we've got one black tank, one gray tank, and one fresh water tank. And uh, this is our bedroom up in the nose of the unit. So in here we have our closet, just like any other ordinary bedroom. We've got hangers on each side plus storage up at the top so we keep all of our little knickknacks and patty wax up here inside as you saw we do have motion sensor lights they work about 90 percent of the time but i'm pretty sure they're light sensitive so if there's too much light in the room from outside they don't turn on but if it's dark enough they'll kick on and they light up everything i'll show you on that side so you guys can see better um, as you guys can see we've got three lights so we got these ones under here which are pretty cool um, but I installed a few of these, so if you look over there, they're just remote control puck lights. They're nice to light up down there so you can see everything. And then we have our installed 32 inch Roku TV, which is a must have for the bedroom because I can't sleep without noise. Um, that beautiful painting up there was done by our friend David and it goes everywhere with us. Yes, thank you guys. <laughs> Sorry, guys, squeeze around. So if you guys want to see, it clicks on and it does light up a good amount of light in the in the closet. Alright, so from the bedroom we made it into the kitchen dining room area. Uh, we really like this unit because it has the opposing slides. So we have the kitchen slide and the dinette slide, but we also have this massive island. Not a lot that I've seen, not a lot of travel trailers have this island. Uh, and we looked at a lot of travel trailers, uh, at least at this year with the price that we got it for. So this one's really nice. We have a 60-40 a sink underneath here. We're not going to lift it because my, my wife didn't do the dishes yet. She doesn't want to show everyone our dirty dishes. <laughs> so we got cabinet space underneath where our trash and all of our cleaning supplies are. We also have four drawers, which is really nice. That's one thing we really wanted was drawers uh, for storage space. So plenty of storage space. So coming from the kitchen island, we're going on to the kitchen side. More counter space, which was a must because we like to cook and not having cook prep space is just deathifying. It's horrible. Um, here we have our microwave. Um, inside our microwave, we do actually have one of these covers, which is a must have for heating up mostly anything and not destroying your microwave. We got this one from Kohl's. It fits perfectly inside of our smaller microwave. So if you guys are looking for one, just go to Kohl's and uh, go into their kitchenware section. It's there, hopefully, but most likely. Obviously, we got our stovetop, free stovetop burner with our normal little oven that we do not use. Um, unfortunately, the pilot light was not working when we got it, um, and I don't like going under there and lighting the lighter. So we just cook everything on the grill. Here I have a darter. Did not come with the unit, uh, but he's here. <laughs> All right, and then like I said, our counter space, we did do some decorating here. So my wife made these little uh, flower milk jug sand pot things that are pretty cute. And then we have our knives and our fruit bowl up here. So up at the top, we have more storage. Uh, that's where we keep most of our cups and bowls and plates and stuff like that. Uh, we do have our spice rack in here. Some people will probably think that's weird, but obviously we don't have as much storage as most people. Uh, but my wife picked up this little spice rack from Walmart, which it's pretty useful. I mean, we don't have a ton of spices, but we use all of the normal ones. Alright, so moving from this little section over here is, this is our, supposed to be our pantry. Well, I don't actually, I really don't know because our pantry is over there. So, I'm not sure if this is supposed to be like another wardrobe or just like cabinet space because it doesn't mark it on the like layout. So. We use it right now for 
pretty much junk in our coffee cups. Um, it's mostly like a junk cabinet for us down here as well. Until we can figure out a way to organize it better, which my wife is probably going to be doing a couple of organization videos for you guys soon. Um, so stay tuned for those. Over here, this is all the electrical stuff that's running the TV, the Wi-Fi, the sound. I basically have it all running to the porthole. So it all sits on this side so it's not in the way. On this side is our Screaming Cat's food, snacks, and medicine. Uh, everything that he needs is right here. If we come down below, this is all of our books and our movies. Everything fit down here, which was amazing. We didn't think they would fit, but it worked out. And I'm happy because I'm a movie person, especially all the Disney movies. Everything that you see that's blue is Disney. So, uh, actually, I think there's some regular DVDs there too that aren't Blu-ray. Uh, that are Disney as well. Come on, bub. So on this side of the unit, um, camera's in the kitchen right now, so on this side of the unit is our dinette on our slide. Uh, we have the normal dinette, which is pretty nice. I can't drop the table for you guys, unfortunately, because our cat box is underneath for our cat. It's not in our way. We can sit at the edge of the table. It's only two of us. So we sit on this side of the table and the cat box is on that side, which works. Um, we have a pellet like litter box that actually keeps the smell away, which is amazing. And there's no like litter dust or tracking anywhere. And then we've got his litter genie down there, which makes up for an easy cleanup. Uh, my wife made this little um, Grogu pillow for Darter. He likes to sit and stare at all the squirrels outside the window. Right now we've got the windows closed for filming purposes, but they are usually open all day and all night long because that cat likes to watch TV. Over here is our wardrobe, and it is actually a wardrobe. Um, I wasn't sure what it was, but then when I looked up the layout, this is marked as a wardrobe. So I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, we keep my stuff up on top, her stuff down the bottom, and then some miscellaneous cleaning supplies that aren't harmful and then uh, some extra storage stuff on top until obviously we can organize a little better. Um, just to throw it out to you guys, we have only been in this unit for three months, three weeks, three weeks, to, uh, something like that. <laughs> three weeks and we're still getting the hang of it. So we're new to this, just like a bunch of other newbies. So on this side, this is actually our pantry. It's really cute, it says pantry. It's got like decorative, uh, XC glass, which is really cool. In here, we did the same thing, so we did add one of those motion sensor lights uh, just to help light up the top area. We will be putting more on each rack. Uh, we just we only have three packs, so we can run out. Um, so we keep all of our stuff. My wife is doing more and more organization in here. Uh, every time she goes to the store, she sees something, she brings it home and organizes. So we got this like really cool white rack here to organize most of our non-perishables. We've had this wicker basket. This is where we put all of our snacks and desserts and like junk food. Junk food. <laughs> um, down below is where we keep all of our drinks and our cat. He <laughs> sleeps in the, the pantry. No, he doesn't. Um, our plastic cups and stuff like that. And all of our shopping bags that go down at the bottom. <laughs> now you guys get to see the bathroom. So we're going to go ahead and start in the bathroom. Right here, um, we got actually really lucky with our door so we have the gap on top and bottom so it doesn't actually have like a door frame on top so we were actually able to get one of these towel hangers and it works out perfect we didn't have to stick anything to the walls for it and have to worry about them falling down or anything it's supported by the door inside the bathroom there's not a lot of room but right here on this side we did hang up a um, adhesive toilet paper thingy um, that fell down so we ended up using 3M sticky tape and it's not going anywhere. And we've got uh, our medicine cabinet, some decorations, more storage down below, and then our shower. Um, we are slightly leaning right now because we settled a little bit so I have to fix that uh, so the door doesn't stay open which is very annoying right now. Um, 
This right here is another awesome thing that we got. I'll let you go and check that out. So this hangs on here. It also has hooks on the back side so we can hang like a, a towel for drying our hands. This holds everything that we need and we don't stick anything to the walls. That is gonna be getting out of here soon. We actually bought all new chrome uh, valve, hose, and head. So that's all gonna be chrome, and then this is gonna be getting replaced as well because our vent fan decided to not, not work anymore. So it doesn't turn on. We have to, I think it just completely died. Yeah, it's gone. Oh, there we go. Oh, so now you guys see. Perks of buying a pre-owned. <laughs> our toilet is plastic, unfortunately, but we are going with a, Dometic 320 porcelain or ceramic toilet. Um, that will be our next big purchase for this unit. So guys, that is our unit. Uh, it's not much, but it's our home. Like I said, it's 27 foot, 5,200 pounds, and it's got plenty of space. This, this living area is perfect for the two of us. You know, we're a couple. It's all we are. We're no kids, one cat. It's all we needed. We do really like the decorations. I'm really happy with the the overhead like chandelier looking lights they are LED I thought they were bulbs but they're not I tried to take one out and it's just like a covering so I'm not really sure how I'm gonna change that light if it ever goes out I'll have to figure that out um, we're okay with the wood look right now uh, the dark wood uh, kind of go over but I kind of want to go modern with it the modern farmhouse white and black or uh, like a dark gray and white, but we haven't really discussed it yet. So we're gonna hold off on that. If that ever does happen, obviously we'll take you guys along for the journey. And we hope you enjoy everything you've seen today. So guys, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe, tap that like button, flick that notification bell, and until next time. Yeah. yeah.